Hi guys, welcome back to Exmo Lex. As an ex-Mormon who talks about my experiences in the Mormon church online, I often get comments from Mormons accusing me of spreading anti-Mormon lies. These anti-Mormon lies are often a subject of hot debate among ex-Mormons and Mormons, both in like practicing Mormon spaces and ex-Mormon spaces. And a quip that you'll often hear from ex-Mormons is after they leave the church, they found out that all of these anti-Mormon lies were actually just church history. And of course, Mormons are quick to say that that's just another anti-Mormon lie. So today I want to tell you guys about 10 actual anti-Mormon lies. And then just to balance it out, I'll tell you guys about 10 truths that are incorrectly called anti-Mormon lies. So let's get started, beginning with things that really are anti-Mormon lies. Number one, that Mormons have horns. You might be surprised that people actually think this because it does sound kind of crazy, but there are actually many people who have accused Mormons of having horns. And that's just an anti-Mormon lie. Mormons do not have horns. Number two, there are satanic rituals done in the temple. There are rituals in the temple, and Satan slash Lucifer is talked about in the temple. In fact, he's even portrayed in the temple. But I definitely wouldn't say that the rituals themselves are satanic, and I think that people who do say that, well, I mean, they definitely have an opinion. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that one's an anti-Mormon lie. Number three, there are orgies in the temple. Anti-Mormon lie. That does not happen, at least to my knowledge. Number four, Mormons don't use the Bible. That's an anti-Mormon lie. Mormons use both the Book of Mormon and the King James Version, specifically, of the Bible. Although it is true that they hold the Book of Mormon in slightly higher regard. They think that the Book of Mormon is the most true book on the face of the earth, so the King James Bible is just slightly below that. Mormons do non-proxy baptisms for literal dead people. That does not happen. Mormons do baptisms for the dead by proxy, which means that a living person, just using the name of a person that has passed, is baptized for that person. They're not out here baptizing dead bodies. That doesn't happen. Next anti-Mormon lie. Mormons worship Joseph Smith. Hear me out on this one. Mormons get really close to worshiping Joseph Smith. If you look up the word worship and what does it exactly mean? The feeling or expression of reverence and adoration. For that, that is true. They do do that. But it continues reverence and adoration for a deity. They do not believe that Joseph Smith is a deity, at least not in the sense that we're talking about. They do, however, feel a lot of reverence and adoration for him though. They literally sing songs about him, sing his praises. They believe that he is a martyr. They believe that he is a prophet, the prophet of the restoration. They don't worship him as they would worship a god. Number seven, bishops have sex with brides before the groom does. I'm not sure where this particular anti-Mormon lie started, but that does not happen, at least not on a regular basis. It's not something that's practiced by Mormons. Number eight, Mormons can't dance. I think that this one probably had some sort of basis in reality, just based on the fact that according to a lot of Mormon prophets, especially back in like the 60s, 70s, 80s, were very much against certain types of music. And there actually were written rules in like For the Strength of Youth that talked about like specific types of dancing that you shouldn't participate in and certain types of music that you shouldn't listen to either because it was too sexual or maybe it was satanic. But on the whole, this is not true. Mormons can dance and they actually really love it. <laughs> Number nine, Mormons have sex with garments on and or through a sheet. Now, while I can pretty much guarantee you that this actually has happened, like a Mormon couple for sure at some point has done this, it's not the rule. Mormons are supposed to wear their garments day and night. They're supposed to wear them at any time that you can reasonably wear the garment. And I think that 99% of Mormons would agree that having intimate time with your spouse is not a reasonable time to be wearing your garments. That is not a rule, that is not a thing. And number 10, actual anti-Mormon lies. Mormons don't have belly buttons. From what I understand, this one came about because Mormons for a very long time were not supposed to wear two-piece swimsuits. And I guess maybe somebody at some point thought that that was for a specific reason. They were covering up the spot where their belly button should have been. This is a weird one, I'll give it to you, but it's not true, Mormons have belly buttons. So there you have it. There are 10 things that actually are anti-Mormon lies, and I, as an ex-Mormon, acknowledge those are not true. Now let me tell you 10 truths about the Mormon church that have incorrectly been called anti-Mormon lies. And as an ex-Mormon, when I was a member of the Mormon church, I heard several of these and immediately in my mind said, that's an anti-Mormon lie. Little did I know, these things were actually true. Number one, 
Joseph Smith had multiple underage wives, and he was not the only prophet to do so. Joseph Smith, Brigham Young, Lorenzo Snow, and Wilford Woodruff all married underage girls. Number two, Joseph Smith translated fake plates. The Kinderhook plates were created with the purpose of showing that Joseph Smith was a fraud and he translated them anyway. Number three, the Book of Abraham papyri doesn't match Joseph Smith's translation. This is true. Number four, the endowment ceremony is stolen from Freemasonry. Joseph Smith himself became a Freemason, and then just a few months later, he came up with the endowment ceremony, which is remarkably similar to Freemasonry. Number five, past prophets taught that black people were cursed with dark skin because they were less valiant in the pre-existence. If I ever bring that one up online, you can almost guarantee that a Mormon will accuse me of spreading anti-Mormon lies, but unfortunately, that one is true. Six, Joseph Smith used a rock and a hat to translate the Book of Mormon. Again, this is another one that if I bring it up, I get accused of spreading anti-Mormon lies. I even had one person argue with me that this rock in a hat was actually a stone and therefore I was lying because it was not a rock, it was a stone. Number seven, Joseph Smith used that same translation method, the rock, to dig for treasure. Number eight, the prophet and the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles are paid. This one was really upsetting to learn just because when I was a Mormon, I told many non-Mormons that our clergy wasn't paid and it was one of the things that set us apart from the rest. All the while, they were really out here getting paid. Number nine, the temple ceremony used to include blood oaths. When I was a practicing active member of the church, I never would have accepted this as true. Blood oaths were in the temple ceremony until the 1990s. And as somebody that didn't go through the temple until 2012, I never knew about it. And number 10, people outside of the Mormon church do experience true joy. Sadly, when I was growing up in the Mormon church, it was often repeated that there is no true joy outside of the gospel. And I really believed that. But as an ex-Mormon, I can personally attest to the fact that there actually is true joy outside of Mormonism. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear your comments. Had you ever heard of any of these actual anti-Mormon lies before? And when you were a member of the Mormon church, did you think any of the true things were anti-Mormon lies? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And extra special thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. You guys are the best. Extra, extra special thank you to Doug Davis for supporting at the Demon tier on my Patreon. If you guys would like to support the channel, there are links to do so in the description below. Thank you for being here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!